It's me, Melissa Marie. As always, I'm so excited because I have a great video to show you. This video was just basically doing a cute style on my sister's hair. She rocked it to a wedding. It was fabulous. Hope you enjoyed the video. And you'll see a little special guest. Say hi. Say hi. So the first thing we're doing here is parting this front section of her hair, leaving some hair out on the side. Once you have that section, you're gonna part a very thin piece of hair down the middle because that's going to be our first braid. It's gonna be a thin braid down the center of her head. You saw me put a little bit of gel on the sides that were down just to hold those down so they would not get pulled into the braid as I was braiding back. Once we get that braided, and you can braid it to the end, but you're gonna end up taking it out, or you can include that within um, the final braid that we do at the back of her hair, which you will see. Now we're doing another small braid on this side of her head. It's gonna be a thin braid. It's gonna be going to the back as well. So between the braid in the middle and this thin braid, you're gonna see a, a rather thick section of hair still left out, and it's going to be a thick braid. So there it is. As you see, there's a braid down the middle and there's a braid on the side. And within the clips, there's thick pieces of hair, which also be a braid. So I had to redo this braid that I'm doing now because I did it initially and it didn't, the second braid didn't match, but she liked the second braid better. So I just tried to make them look symmetrical. And um, that's the second braid I'm doing there. The hair within those two clips, I'm also going to be braiding and that's going to be two thick braids. So you have one thin braid, a thick braid, a thin braid, a thick braid, and a thin braid. So you have five braids all together. So once I finish this braid, I'll show you what it looks like before. Then I'm gonna do that last bit of hair. Once that's braided in, the next thing we're going to do is put her hair up in a ponytail. And for this hairstyle, a high ponytail is the look that fits um, we're going to put her this is all her natural hair we're going to put it up in a high ponytail and then we're going to braid the back of it we're going to actually sew the weave into her braid so you'll see what i'm saying so at this point we're about to put her hair all up in a ponytail as high as we can get it she actually did it for me i tried i couldn't get it high enough for her liking so that was high and she wanted it I couldn't get it tight enough, I should say. And that's the braid. But wait a second, did you see that? That. Wow. The things you see in the retake. Okay, so that is a the the weave that we're using. It is human hair. Um she tried to match her hair color as much as possible. It actually ends up being a great match. So this is what we're doing. We're taking a sewing, a hair needle, literally sewing it into the binding of the weave, through the binding, and then into her braid. We're going to then wrap the weave around again and sew it into the binding again. So by the time we're finished, you're going to have a full wrapping of her braid in this track so I kind of used a very long piece of string and it got tangled at times and the weave itself was like really long so we did have some issues as you can tell in my face <laughs> quite the dilemma <laughs> but we did work it out just kept going round and round, continuously sewing that bind through the binding into her hair to make sure it was going to stay in there nice and tight, nice and strong. And you can see she's actually helping me hold the hair into place. But Ty, I guess she's tired. It was kind of late. And we just keep doing it, going around. And you just, you know, do your overlap in the hair so it's actually creating like 
a full ponytail as you continue to wrap it around, as you continue to go up in a spiral motion. And we're going to go all the way until we, um, we kind of get to her scrunchie. And then you just continue to sew right into that, that binding, that dark, darkish brown piece at the top of the track. And I'm telling you, I put that, so uh, this is my first time ever doing this. I'm not an expert by any means, but her hair came out great. So we just kept sewing it in to that part. And then we, I tried to knot it there. I struggled, but that's okay. Uh, then we took a piece from the back of the hair and wrapped it around her scrunchie to cover her scrunchie. There it is. And I'm going to do one more little piece to really get the full coverage of this crunchy. Wrap it all the way around. Then in the back, I'm going to use a bobby pin and just secure it into place. Yep. Okay. Everything, making sure it's all in place. Fluffing it out with my fingers. I'm going to comb it out with a comb just to make sure it's falling beautifully and then she is going to shine go ahead girl show us that hair i was literally telling her work it flip that ponytail girl that's why she's laughing turn around let us see the back yes girl work it yes 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 and then just so you can see the actual how it came together the actual look came together this, this is the look that with her makeup on. That's the ponytail from the side. Her eyes are gorgeous, darling. Thank you so much for watching.